Hey, what's Captain America? We're at SHOT Show 2025 Range Day, and we are at the BioFire booth, and we're checking out their new smart gun. So this new smart gun right here is exactly what you think it is. It is a 9mm pistol that is set up to have all sorts of sensors and fingerprint recognition and face recognition on it that prevents a random person from coming and shooting the gun without being previously set up. So there's a lot to this, but we're going to go through it pretty quick. These guys are going to yell at me if I tell any lies, so hopefully I get all this correct and right. But right here, there is a face sensor that actually you set up with an app. This plugs into the gun through USB. There's no wireless. There's no Bluetooth on it. Connects up and it recognizes your face. You also go and you can program your fingerprint to be here on the gun. And um, you can set up multiple users that can pick this gun up. So basically when you pick it up, it senses that the gun is moving. When you go to grip the gun, it recognizes either your fingerprint or when you look down the sights, it recognizes your face and actually allows you to use the gun. The ignition system, even though it's striker fire, is actually not connected to the trigger. So it's separate because it is electronic. So I asked about the battery life. It depends on use, but somewhere around a week, uh, is about if you're using the gun regularly. It's meant to be kept plugged into the docking station. They're telling me that it's waterproof, that it works up to negative 40 Celsius, and um, that it's made to handle heat. They've kind of thought of everything. It's It's got a warranty for 10,000 rounds, which is uh, quite a bit for an electronics. Uh, we're going to shoot it, and I'm going to give you some impressions on it real quick. What I think about it, obviously we need to have the discussion about whether this is a good idea or not as far as our freedoms and control from government down the road, but that's maybe a question or something that you guys can take up in the comments. So let's go ahead and shoot it and see what it shoots like, and we'll go from there. So you want us to shoot it over here? You're fine right there. Okay. All right, so it's a standard steel magazine. Looks like it's made by Metgar, but it's made specifically for this biofire handgun. So mag is in, and it's got standard, uh, it's got a slide release here, and it's also got a mag release uh, exactly the way we would normally uh, find them. So, all right, let's give this a go. So right now, without my hand on, you can see the lights just blinking. But if I actually grab it and recognize my fingerprint or my face, um, it turns green, which tells me that I'm set to shoot it. So we've got a target out there about 30 yards. We're going to give it a go and see how this feels. We didn't rack it. All right, and we went to slide lock. So it actually shoots pretty soft. It's pretty big. It's kind of it's kind of bulky, but it actually isn't bad to shoot at all. Um, really, really interesting gun. Obviously, um, they've tried to think of everything here as far as fail safes, but clearly you're not going to be able to wear gloves. If you get into a situation where uh, maybe your hands are bloody or you lose your fingerprints, you're going to be in big trouble for getting this to work. Uh, it did. I, I think they got it set up where it actually recognized me with glasses on, but I'm not sure. It is supposed to work in the dark. Um, anyway, that's that's kind of the story. If you want to know the price, go to Guns America, where you can read the full write-up on this. Uh, but you'll be surprised; it's not as much as you might think that it would be. So, um, anyway, that's the BioFire Smart Gun. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys on what you think about it in the comments. Is this a good idea? Is this a slippery slope for government control? Is AI going to be able to hack this through the system? It doesn't have Wi-Fi, but apparently the doc does. You know, there's a lot of questions here about whether this is a good idea, but maybe if you got kids, maybe if you want to be able to leave a gun out and have people not be able to access it, maybe it's, maybe it's a perfect solution. So tell us in the comments what you think. We have a lot more content coming from Guns America, so make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button, and we'll see you on the next video.